Hey everybody, Vaughn here with the Vonster Vlog, and welcome to day 115 of A Year of Yoga. Oh, we are just gonna get our shoes off and join each other here on the mat. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to join me and make some time for yourself, hopefully. We are going to start just at the foot of our mat in mountain pose, inhaling, arms up overhead. Not bunching our shoulders up by our ears, but just really radiating our arms up and into the sky, grounding through our feet. Inhale and exhale. You can lower your arms, your palms facing forward, like kind of radiating open if you'd like. And as we inhale and exhale, Feel that kind of energy grounding down through your feet and legs. And actually, I personally prefer the movement of inhaling up and exhaling down, pulsing. It starts to wake up my feet, knees, and ankles. Now let's swan dive forward. Oh, nice. Straight back at first before we start to relax down in our forward fold here rocking onto our heels lifting our toes rocking forward and lifting our heels when we lift our toes let's try to lift them evenly not just twisting our big toes up and inhale coming up to a flat back and exhale down just a little deeper we can actually walk our hands forward into a downward facing dog. Come up onto our toes, anterior tilt, opening our tailbone to the sky. Inhale and exhale slowly, lowering our heels towards the ground. They don't have to be touching, just coming towards it. We can shift our weight from one side to the other. We can even pedal our knees out. And we can come and find a moment of stillness here. Let's bring our feet nice and close together. We are going to come down into plank. Pressing the ground away from you, pulling your navel in towards the spine, nice, straight, strong back. And lower down nice and slow before we come up into cobra. And we can stretch our legs. So let's lower back down. Now this time, without using the strength of our arms, go ahead and lift your upper back off the mat and then push up the rest of the way with help from your arms, keeping that engaged healing along our back, opening up through the abs. Now we can roll up, oh, coming back into an extended child's pose. Now here we want to do a posterior tilt, bringing our tailbone towards our feet. We can come back up to a tabletop position. And let's practice some cat-cow. Inhaling, bringing the tip of our head and the tip of our tailbone towards the sky. Exhale, rounding our back, pulling that navel in, expelling out every bit of air. And 
just moving with our breath. Now from here, let's walk our fingertips back, sit on our feet in thunderbolt position. And we can, if we like, tuck our toes under and just get a nice little bit of stretch here through our feet. For me, this is borderline painful, honor your body and know and, you know, start to explore and recognize the difference between just a really intense stretch and genuine like pain you know so <sighs> coming up out of it and sometimes you may be just right here just tucking your toes under and leaning a little bit of weight back getting into that stretch <sighs> so you know your butter, butter, body better than anyone Okay, so coming back into Thunderbolt position, let's do some hand stretches. We're going to do the kiss the ring. We have our arm stretched out with our hand pointed towards the ground. We can actually press our thumb into the palm of our hand and stretch. We should get a really nice stretch. I'm getting it through the back of my hand, but also here along in our forearm. And you can undo it, do that same thing on the other side. And now from here, we can stretch our arm palm up and bring our palm back. And we can hold on to those fingers and stretch. Here we are, do the other side, palm up. And I try to bring it down as much as I can just with the strength of my muscles before I start pressing and getting in deeper. All the time trying to maintain that engaged sensation so that if I were to let go, it doesn't just boing back up. And now from here, we will open bringing our thumbs to the wall behind us before flipping our palms from palm up. To palm down and then bring them fingertips together on our sacrum and you could be sitting on a bolster here we can actually come up onto our knees and lean back just a little bit this way for me it may, lets me maintain circulation to my feet but also can strengthen by leaning back just a bit you can add layers of complexity to these otherwise passive stretches. So we have our hands, I'm actually interlacing my fingers and resting my knuckles on my sacrum and then bringing my elbows back as though someone's behind me gently pulling them back. And as I breathe, I inhale and lift my chest and exhale, squeeze a little deeper with my elbow. I'm doing that. I'm just going to make some big arm circles now. Inhaling up and back. Almost like I'm doing a backstroke through the water and now up and forward in the other direction. Now, I'm trying to take kind of gentle this week because all oh, the holidays and everything and just I've been feeling uh just a bit under the, under the weather what with monthly uh ebbs and flows of things so if you feel like your body needs it give it some time and some rest and just here now in a uh, cobbler's pose resting my hands on my knees Just checking in with my breathing. Sometimes I spend so much of my day focused on doing, doing, doing. And it's fun and I love it, but sometimes it can 
become just a whirlwind blur of effort and productivity, which is great. I mean, as far as running a business goes, it's amazing, but I lose myself in it. So it's really nice to be coming in and doing these daily yoga sessions with y'all. Breathe. Let's stretch our neck and shoulders out. We can nod our head yes very slowly. As we look up, we can set our chin towards the sky, stretching along here in our neck. And we can look down and really focus on like being cooled by the tip of our head. Now we can shake our head no, very slow and gentle. We're not looking to be tapping anything here while we're doing this. Like, we don't want to come in and, like, be cracking our neck. It's just about stretching and strengthening and massaging internally all of these muscles around neck and shoulders. Now, looking over the right, let's go like up and over. And then up and over. Then I'm going to tip my left heel over my left shoulder and look down at the ground. And then up at the sky. And down at the ground. Up at the sky. And roll it on through to the other side. Look down at the ground. I'm really making my elbows heavy here, holding on to my knees. Give me something to resist against. Look up at the sky. So keeping that right ear over my right shoulder, I'm just looking up at the sky and then rotating my fingers back down at the ground. We can also, I'm going to inhale, bring my thumbs to the wall behind me, and exhale, cross my right arm over my left, and pull that right arm, <sighs> stretching all through that shoulder blade, that deltoid, that tricep, just everything. There's so much tension there. <sighs> Inhale, opening back up. Exhale, left over right this time, wrapping my right arm around and pulling into that stretch. And opening back up. Very, very good, you guys. Thank you all so, so much for joining me here today. I know this was just a quickie, and it's been like a week of quickies, but I would rather show up and have a quickie with y'all than miss a day. So thank you guys again for joining me. Let me know how you're doing down in the comments, and I will see y'all next time. So until then, keep on keeping on. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>